Welcome back to space. Let's save the galaxy. And by that I mean probably kill a lot more people. Um, how are we doing for... I'm gonna have a little look at the star map. We have not uh, gone through the um, Kaeli systems. This little uh, line down here could be worth it. Let's actually go there, I think. We're not full on fuel. But uh, there is, nowadays, there's someone in out in the galaxy that could actually sell us these things. You see the lower minimap over there. There is something following us. That's another ship. Shun the right world. I would dare to say it's not worth it. Uh -oh. <coughs> okay, we had no chance, it just jumped us. This is Pro 2418-B on a peaceful mission. You misinterpret our intentions. Please do not attack. Replication status. 8 replications. Next replication 85% complete. Estimated replication since departure from point of origin. 583 replications. Estimated replications projected one year from this date. 14,784 replications, estimated replications projected 5 years from this date, 45,786,412 replications, priority override, new behavior dictated, must break target into component materials. Um... Earthwifo. Wait, took a little hit there. You have to retreat whenever I shoot the torpedo at See if we can keep them in range, fool them to keep them in range a bit. Oh, that we. Oh, 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 I did not pay attention to the screen right there. Doing alright though. Last time we got some new guns to our main ship. Uh, I don't think we have seen the main gun a lot. We used it against the Ilra when the cruiser we, that was escorting us got blown up by the Ilra. The... The... Um, what do you call it? The ships have an interesting balance in this game, because... I wouldn't... There, there are some ships that are extraordinarily good. Um, and some that have great uh, general utility, but have some, some weaknesses that like instantly bring them down. Oh, wait a minute, that's okay. Um, 
Um, th there, are, there are some chips that are very, very good. Um, some that we can run as well. Um, I would say that actually the Urk one are incredibly tough. Um, I'm glad they give us uh, Whiffle to begin with, uh, unless we kill him right now, because uh, this is a decent ship. Eluder is a very good name for it, it's very fast, but I, I dare to say there are no low tiers uh, ships. All of them are incredibly strong in some way. And uh, even the Earthling Cruiser, even if you could consider it a beginning ship or something like that, it's not bad. It, it's it, it's uh, it's specific. It has some some things that it deals very well with, but other things not so much. Um, perhaps we we'll have a look at that later. Um, on whichever ships uh, the Earthlings are useful against. But we are doing terribly for crew. This is a terrible planet. Let's not go down there. No, it's not a planet, it's a moon, no, I know. Nor is Pluto. could go down there and get some base metals, but I... Oh, oh, let, let's actually see how expensive the... Okay, let's go down. Let's go down and get something on this. From this little trip. And kill a few crew, I mean. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, uh, I, I say that a lot of uh, planets are not interesting for us, but... Um, I haven't really shown you any of them, so I, I, I guess it's a good one. So. I would say that uh, overall this uh, system was a bit of a letdown. Um, I would dare say this one could be... Better actually, let's just... No, those are just uh, the ordinary ones, huh? Let's go back and scan it. Ultramarine world, no. Let's not go down. We fought a probe. We lost a lot lost a lot of crew. Um, let's actually Be sure to re resupply Fwifu with whatever crew he needs. Because if we get into a fight, um, I'll be sure to save before the next one and, and see if we can try out the Vindicator. Uh, now that we have a better gun. You, you saw it against the Ingrath. Um, we are actually quite good on um, Dynamos as well. They really want to catch up with us. I think it might be a probe also. This! This is a nice, low risk, low reward world. Let's just fill it up with some noble gases, probably useful for something back home. Pick them all up. Small, small amounts of it. It's not very much.
almost we could almost fit all of it in the lander. I will not bother more with this planet though. That's planet four. Let's go to planet three. Huge landing cost, kind of dangerous, and also nothing of real value down there. I was gonna say that was a very uninteresting world, but then oh, oh. Oh, yeah. let's not run into it. I cannot afford to do that. Whoop. Secondary fire button actually allows us to escape. Um, I use that and say that instead of the escape key. Isn't that easier? Good. Good, I noticed it. Our ships also have the escape possibility. By using five fuels, uh, we can escape a battle, as the commander said that he installed it. It's a feature that you kind of forget that you have, because, um, uh, it's a lot of fuel. I do see some rare ones down there, even though we have Tectonic 6, which is nasty, we still have the rare little one down here, so let's see if we can pick the magnetic monopoles, that's good. Iron think That's all right. What do you think? When we leave, will there be a ship encountering us? We'll be saving now though. And let's go from the down and up. Yeah, they pull us straight in. Ah, it's a probe. Uh, converse. We are not hostile and seek mm -hmm. to establish friendly relations with your species. Is there something wrong? We do seem to be miscommunicating. According to internal monitors, there are no malfunctions. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. Let's try the indicator out for a spin. See how well we do. Quite bad. We're doing quite bad. Never 
they don't have the engines the, the looter have to escape. How much was that? Like 50 crew? I am actually, actually going to load that because that went very bad. So let's not break out the Vindicator to play just yet. It should get stronger, but she's quite under armed at this point, even though we do have a lot of energy and a lot of diamonds. So we can lay down a lot of fire, but also it's quite weak. We are not hostile and seek to establish friendly relations with your species. According to internal monitors, there are no malignant. All right, let's get on to it. Before, do you think? Can see if we can stay on mid mid distance from them. If we stay on the same screen, we can actually, I think, destroy the asteroids. Um, but as you see, we change screens all the time. Earthling Cruiser have the point defense system, which we could install on uh, on uh, oh. on the Vindicator. Um, Let's oh, they, they recharge for oh, this. That's so sad. I shouldn't have disengaged them. They just uh, used up all their energy to kill us. But then, um, I shouldn't have let them flee. Because we, we get our energy back slowly. We have a generator on board or something. But then, um, these do not. Send of Wiffo. As you see, there I use the escape function, but let's not, let's not. We, we, we will go back here and then we'll defeat them properly. <sighs> We need, we really need to do something about these probes because they are dealing with us in a bad way. We are not hostile. According to our must. The looter also has quite a bit of uh, uh, crew. Oh. We don't deal much damage, particularly since we're not even hit. Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know if you're screaming advice at me at this point, huh? What is going on? We're doing very bad against these. Come on, keep in range, so I can shoot you. There must be some kind of trick to this. A trick could be involved to get another ship. Can't really do that, can we? We could try the Earthling Cruiser. I think we can afford one. I will actually be doing that, uh, because I am very fond of Wifu and I don't want him to, to go. We are kind of short on crew though. I'm not going to bother, I just bring out the Vindicator this time. Come on. That worked well. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's um, let's actually use the vindicator for those. <laughs> Good thing we found that out. I'm gonna see what's typing to me. Alright, um, use the Vindicator as a turret and just shoot it down. It's expensive to land, but it's still with... Decent uh, metals, mm. iridium. Mm. Oh, and earthquakes. Guess this last one as well. That was planet three. This seems like it's a planet we can actually land on. Um, landable planets with moons are actually quite rare. A lot of fuel though. Uh, let's not bother with this one. Metal world. This. This, my friends. The world we're gonna save at, scan and dispatch a lander. What is this virtual? Iron, uranium. Let's not linger around there, let's get this done. 
I think we might be landing a few more times because this is valuable. What is that? Is some kind of machine? It looks like a, a carnival ride. But gonna fill the lander with the nickel. Is it nickel? Nickel. We're not doing too great on fuel, and we're a bit away from home. So that is... could be a problem. Uranium and filler up. Iron. That's the last one. I don't think we will be landing again once we pick this one up. I think we're done. That's good. That was a valuable moon. And uh, only planet one left then. system of its own. This isn't so bad. This has some some radioactives down there, some noble metals. We lost one fuel and one crew. Let's check the star map. We can still go. We can, we can still come home. We still have enough fuel to go home. As long as we don't bother with those. First moon then. No, I'm not going down there. Um, we could go home. We could also continue for a bit and then I think we would run out of fuel. Let's actually keep going. Through the sun. You see, that's what happens when we go to the sun. No, no, nothing really happens when we go to the sun. Star of any system. A little grey out there, it's the first one I think. Let's see what we can do. It's a very safe world for those who doesn't have anything on it. That was quick.
Planet 2, let's go for planet 3. No, planet 1. First planet. Yeah, what can I say? This Sometimes really nothing happens. Better be something good at this last moon. Good thing we found one South Crystal in this system. Or like two. Two very valuable things in a very Boring envelope. I don't think this uh, system m might have been worth the effort. We can still precisely go back to Earth. Like, exactly. Let's not. You know what I, I'm actually going to say. <laughs> In case something horrible happens. You could get stuck. Uh, apart from landing, um, you don't use any fuel while we're in the system. But we can run out of fuel while going through hyperspace like this. Better be something good here. Moons. Love moons. I like the moon. Cause it is close to us. I like the moon. I know many of you that are old enough to. This is something. Uh, let's go and pick up the radioactives at least, I think. Uranium, sulfur, silver, silver. I think landing again is worth it. Let's fill her up with some noble. I don't think we will be see an seeing any tectonics going down here. It's, this is about the same tectonic level as Earth. I think it has weather too and. Uh, the tonics too, and you don't very often get hit by an earthquake or struck by lightning on Earth. I think they go to like 9. One lander full. And the last moon. It has a little rare earth down there, and it's not very dangerous. Uh, so let's pick up the rare earth and fill her up with base metals. Uh, 
not very dangerous, as I said, and two guys already dead, but, uh, you know. Star map, and uh, we cannot go back to Earth. Like at all. Um, I think going back I, either way might be a good idea because we are running kind of low on crew. Um, how are we doing for... We have a lot of cargo capacity left. Should we be brave and go down here instead? No, let's do it. Why we committed? I'm just gonna strike these babies off on my list. There's no reason ever to visit there again. Let's go down to the Gorno star system. I'm going to stop. We are not hostile and seek to establish friendly relations with your species. What's the use? I bet regardless what I say, you just attack. Priority set at point of origin. Behavior follows dictated priorities. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. Oh, telling us the priorities would have been interesting. Let's try out the Vindicator then. Oh, we're really close. Feel free to crash into the planet if you want. If there is a planet that far from... We got some... We got some... Uh, something out of that. Um, let's begin with the one furthest back, I think. We are very low on fuel, but as we see, not really, mu not very much is happening while we're in the system unless we land. Probably go just going to be a very brief visit. That was uninteresting. Let's check out the planet itself. And after that I'm going to transfer crew from Shall we use most of our no. It has some ready actives, but it's it's with a lot of fuel. Really. Um and also a lot a lot a lot of the tonics. Did we visit this one? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. It's an acid world, right? No, it's a green world. Oh, this is better. This is better. It has some teutonics, and it's... Some rare earth laying around. Let's go through the manifest and the rooster and down the crew on Fliffel's ship. See if we can restore the Vindicator a bit. So far it's pretty uninteresting. If we could check this. It a, has a kind of decent but also kind of dangerous uh, world we could go for, for some radioactives. This is not interesting. Unless it's really cheap to land, it's not. There's a lot of base metals.
If we need more resources closer to home later, we could. The same with this. It's, it's not valuable. Is it cheap to land? No. We're so low on fuel right now. I guess we get to see what happens when you run out of fuel in... Uh, I think I'm going to cross off that little star, because I don't think it's anything interesting there. And... Um, let's go out into the... Uh, into hyperspace. Gamma Gorno. Oh, precisely could enter the system. See if it can scan this place at least. We are really running on, on fumes at this point. No. That's not interesting. That's interesting. That is interesting. But we cannot afford to land. There's some bi biologicals down there. Let's make a little note on my map. Tritonic 7 is nasty, but it's not something we can't deal with. And um, we really, really, really need to build up some credits with the Melon Army because they know a lot of things. This also seems like a good, good place if we had the fuel to land. Green world. And uh, the last world is probably going to be very hot, I think, because it's so close to the sun. Gorno, that we can find some biologicals down here. But before then, let's see what's happened now when we're out of, when we're out of fuel. We get attacked by Slavander Pro instantly. We wish to learn more about you. Please transmit data. This is Pro2418-B, we are on a peaceful mission of exploration, priority override. New behavior dictated, must break target into component materials. Let's crank out the Vindicator as we usually do. Research units. We can't afford to take hits though. If we could do that without taking hits. Oh, I just instantly fell back into the solar system again. Now we're completely out. So, I guess this is it then. Out of queue. No way to go. Good opportunity to listen a bit to the hyperspace music until someone comes to attack us, I guess. Once again, 
We meet Pew. to exchange valuable tangibles. Isn't this fun? Now, what can we do for you today? Uh, would we like to buy some fuel? We have some things we want to would like, like to, to sell. sell, Captain. The 188 units of biological data we downloaded from your ship earn you 176 credits. We would like to buy some items would you things? Like to buy today? Fuel, As perhaps? you know, we carry a large supply of fuel on board, which is compatible with your engine system. We will be happy to sell this substance to you at a cost of one credit per fuel unit. How much fuel do you wish to purchase? Uh, all of it. Fuel transferred to your vessel. Thank you. Um, we would like to leave technology, technology we are now offering includes details on how to add point defense laser systems to your flagship. Yeah. These little babies are great for defense, but because of their limited range, they may not make a good offensive weapon. However, the more you build for your vessel, the more damage each laser strike will do. The technology we are now offering includes plans for building improvements to your planet landers, Ooh. which make them resistant to hostile alien life forms. That's very good. What we can't else afford it. Would you like to buy? Very well then. It has been a pleasure dealing with you, Captain. We look forward to your next visit. Oh, that turned out alright. Let's go back then and uh, pick up those biologicals. If I can remember where they were. Perhaps keeping like an uh, iPad with uh, or any other brand of tablets up with some uh, walkthrough in this game could have been interesting. Um, let's see if we can handle these tectonics. Oh, this is this is this is this is something, right? Take one of these down and see if, if they're valuable at least. Oh! Taking so much damage. Ah, no, I'm getting out of here. This is not worth it. Um, let's keep the B on this star system though, anyway, because perhaps there will be some way we can. If, for instance, we have the next technology which makes us resistant to life forms, that that would help. Um, perhaps something if they can make us more resistant to the the earthquake somehow. Being fast helps. Green world. This also has a lot of, lots of tectonics, but not as much. Oh, I can't see anything in this background. Let's see if we can catch these birds. Are they valuable? Oh, 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 the, oh they were very aggressive. Um, let's go down here again. Be sure to extra. Is that a spot? It looks like a spot. Oh, it's valuable though. Because we're the ultimate evil. I 
I am not going to risk it anymore. We are so low on crew right now. Um, we could still go back here. I think it's still some more things we can harvest from here. And we are full of fuels. That's good. Uh, but at this point... Let's visit one more starship because I'm... Star system because I'm greedy. Could, could be small. Oh, it's gigantic. Alright, let's not visit this place. It's, it's so much going on. So we have two unexplored star systems and one which still has biological data running around it. We still have that um, thing from um, from the Rigel star systems going on that we could check out. See what that is about. Oh, home sweet home. Or home enslaved home. Good to see you again, Captain. Thank you. If you can keep this up, we'll turn that flagship of yours into a genuine dreadnought killer. Try to avoid getting gruesomely killed, Captain. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I hear it, yeah. Load her up and crew. Oh, we're really, really burning through crew. Like crazy. We could get the point defense systems, they said. Oh, that's expensive. Can't afford it though. Is it? Is it anything else we could use? We could. Um... Considering that we keep fighting the Slilander probes over and over again, perhaps a extra iron bolt gun. Getting getting in a few hits if we miss, and then. Fill her up with dynamos. So we can so we can keep firing. The point defense systems is really good against uh, things as lasers. No, uh, as um, missiles and such. See if we can buy a. Can we buy a crew? Earthling Cruiser, we can get an Earthling Cruiser and we can get crew for it. Alright, now we have an Earthling Cruiser. It's something. I'm going to save here. It has been fun. I'll see you next time. Thank you a bunch. Bye. I keep doing that. <laughs>